What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with WWE action figure news or coverage from our time at San Diego Comic Con. Man, we are back today with San Diego Comic Con 2023 coverage and today we are breaking down every single WWE Elite that was shown off to us at San Diego Comic Con or just that entire week to us. I think it was a total of like 50 figures or something like that, man. It was absolutely nuts. You guys know that Mattel kills it every single time when they showcase these things. I do have an interview with Mattel that I should be posting in the coming days and of course we're still covering the stuff because while I was there in person I do like to come back home get my thoughts together as a collective unit sit down and cover it with you guys and go image by image breaking it all down covering the details what I like what I don't like and just kind of diving into everything moving forward and of course you guys can use this as a guide to the figures and when they're coming out and what sets they are and things of that nature so with that being said man let's dive into all the figures that we saw over the past week at comic-con and dive into my thoughts so we're starting things off with some of the sets that we saw we have some exclusives and things like that man I want to dive into first and this first one is the Amazon exclusive WrestleMania 10 Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon Elite 2 pack. Very interesting set here. A lot of people were excited about this set. I saw lots of rumblings online about this set and what they liked and didn't like and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. First of all, great set. I love that we have a set here. It is Amazon exclusive. Say what you will about Amazon exclusives, but I feel like the track record for Amazon exclusives are if you want it, you better grab it because it's only going to go up in price. But we do have a previously re-released figure here almost twice now, which we'll get into in just a moment. I'll explain all those things. But you have Shawn Michaels and Razor from WrestleMania 10. We do feature a brand new Razor Ramon head sculpt on here. And I don't hate the head sculpt. I think it does have a lot of likeness to Razor. Uh, it looks like it's maybe a little bit bigger big on the body, but I think at the end of the day, it looks good. I think the likeness is there. You know, the haircut, say what you will, I think it is decent enough. I think it gets the job done for Razor there. He has the black attire. A lot of people have been waiting on that as well. You get the shiny green iridescent style vest. And I could be wrong, but I feel like that color's not accurate. I, I haven't looked at it. I just, off my memory, I don't think that jacket or that vest is accurate. But nonetheless, he does come with his change, black attire, Double jointed arms. You also get the ladder. You get the two icy titles. Really wish they'd add in the red logo there and really make the championship stand out. But the Shawn Michaels figure is a figure we've kind of seen twice now. We saw it back in the, the flashback exclusive line to Walmart a long time ago. And then we also saw it kind of in the Legends set. You know, it's kind of a repaint of that same figure. But now we actually do have the same exact tights with double jointed arms. I think that flashback elite back then actually had like that new, like, elbow rotation style arm that was garbage but I think this is a solid set and that actually may be a new Shawn Michaels head sculpt if I'm not mistaken at least from my angle it may not be it's just off the cuff there but you get a lot of accessories here really dope packaging very sick packaging man you get WrestleMania 10 you get the splash off the ladder you get the big X on there this is a very cool set I would love to see them do some more things like this maybe a WrestleMania X7 Rock and Austin 2 pack or I don't know man there's just so many cool things you could do with this as a baseline and I would like to see them adventure into that. We'll have to see what comes of it, but this is a really cool set. I, I popped for this. I thought it was a really cool idea, and I'll take it. I, I'll live with this all, all day of the week, and the red ladder's cool and everything. I think this is a cool set. It's a cool set. Definitely go grab it. It's on Amazon right now, I do believe, up for pre-order if you guys are interested in that. Next up is one of the sets that I honestly thought was just so incredible, and this set is going to be the Rocky, or not the Rocky, but the Maya Via Family 3-pack, the Elite 3-pack Walmart exclusive here. We're getting Peter Maya Via. We're we're getting The Rock and we're getting Rocky all three together here. Very badass set, man. I mean, this is the kind of things that I love about collecting. That Rock figure is just insanity. That may be one of my favorite figures that was revealed to us the entire week. You guys know that I love promo gears or street attires that aren't in the wrestling gear. That stuff's right up my alleyway. And we finally got the removable watch accessory that was on my wish list for a long time. I've been begging Mattel to give us that. We finally have it. We also have a removable bracelet. You have the really cool cloth goods. You get this sick khaki shorts style look with the loafers. I mean, this is such a cool set, man. Really excited to see what the packaging looks like as well, but all three of these are dope. You guys also see with the Rocky figure. We've already seen this figure before, but they do have some new upgrades. We have some new tooling on the boots there. That is a new boot sculpt. This is really awesome. I'm sure they'll be reusing that at a later date on other figures as well. You get the cloth robe in there. Very sick set. And then you have all the tattoo deco on here. I mean, Jesus, man. This is a sick-ass set. I mean, I saw a lot of people saying that it was random, but they did explain that, you know, before Rock's Rock 
Rock show or whatever that was. Before that was canceled, this was already in the pipeline, so that's why we're getting this here. It kind of goes hand in hand with the show there, but nonetheless, it's still a really cool set, and I'm definitely going to be grabbing this one. Can't wait to review it for you guys on the channel. It's a really epic set. That Rock figure probably won the weekend. I may do my top 10 reveals from Comic-Con weekend in the wrestling figure space. That Rock figure would definitely be on there. I think it's awesome. Can't wait to see where we go from here, and maybe we can expand the horizons on other guys we haven't seen. And you guys know that they've done so many Rock figures, so it kind of makes sense that they had to go outside the box for this one. Another three-pack that we saw, guys, was the Hogan three-pack. I don't even know what the hell this name is. It's like the Hogan, I don't even know, the Hogan box set, I guess you could call it, man. Looks really sweet. This is something that I would love to see for other superstars, not just Hogan. We, of course, did see the Foley three faces, a Foley three-pack as well, and that is something I'd love to see. I'd love to see more three-packs of different characters. John Cena comes to mind, obviously, but I would love to see more three-packs. You know, they obviously need to have some sort of historical significance. I think John Cena could swing a three-pack, but nonetheless, here we do have three different versions of Hulk Hogan. Very cool. He's got the, like, chewing on the bandana head sculpt there. We get our Starcade Hulk Hogan, and then we do get the Hulk Steel Rules. Now, one thing that is interesting here, I do love that we do have the new torso on all three of these. I think that's excellent. We do have the new Hogan torso in here, which I think fits really, really well for him, but I'm wondering why, why isn't the skin tone the same across the board? I feel like they could have used the same exact skin tone. They keep giving it to the, the early on Hogan's instead of, like, the more later years Hogan's, and I don't know why they wouldn't just keep it straight across the board and give us the hot dog tan every single time. I think it would suffice. I don't think they need to change it back and forth. I think they could have kept that same skin tone and nobody would have fought you on it. Nonetheless, this is still a really sweet pack. I love the different things we have going on here. I think that new torso is really going to complete these figures. I know we're going to put the shirts on them and stuff, but this is a sick-ass three-pack. Get the two sweet hands. Uh, just, a, just a phenomenal set. I know a lot of people were annoyed with the amount of Hogan's we saw, but you got to admit that he is a toyetic guy, and you know the figures do look good when they release some of him, so you know, it, they're going to continue to pump about. It's just one of those things that's going to happen. So, I, I, you know, what do you say? You know, maybe you can get this thing on clearance. I don't think this is going to go to clearance. The Legends figures, however, we'll get to those in a moment. Those may have a different say, but this is a cool pack. I like it. I, You know, I'm all for big packs and sets. And I guess for the success of other packs, we need these things to succeed so we can see other box sets in the future. And I feel like the Raw 30th Anniversary set was a big one. I think that all these different three packs and stuff like that have been pretty successful. And so hopefully we'll We'll continue to see more things like this, but I do like the new torso. I wish the skin tones were different, but I, I do appreciate this three-pack. I think it's a cool set. Lots of cloth goods, lots of good things going on here with this Hogan three-pack. Still need a new weight belt, though. Now, this next set that we're going to dive into, you guys might already have your hands on it. This is actually a set that I do not have yet, so if you guys have this one, you're ahead of the curve for me. This is the Then Now Forever four-pack with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, Rocky Maivia, and Becky Lynch. Very random set. I remember telling you guys on the channel, maybe over the last few months, that we were going to see a, a unique set that I did not know what made any sense, really. And this was the set that I was talking about. We just, we discussed that a little bit on the channel, but it's a Then Now Forever set celebrating like 60 years or something like that of WWE. And they kind of have like, uh, you know, four different stars here. I think a lot of women's figures collectors were kind of upset because you have to buy this four pack just to get your hands on the Becky Lynch, which I completely understand there, but it is a cool Lady Gaga inspired Becky Lynch figure with that at least that's what I call it there, but pretty cool set. I can't wait to get my hands on this one. Hopefully it'll hit my area soon. I can get my hands on it for a review, but really wanting that Austin figure. That's the one I'm most excited for, but we've already seen this. Hopefully I can get my hands on it for a full review very, very soon here on the channel, but moving it right along, we're diving into our last box set, which is Ringside Exclusive, and you can pre-order this right now. It is the Ringside Exclusive Three Faces of Foley 3-Pack, the Elite Set from Ringside Collectibles. Definitely go get your hands on this one if you guys are interested in it. We have Cactus Jack, Mankind, and dude love very interesting thing here you know i really like the set idea i think it's very dope to have all three of these i think my only gripes with this set really are just formula in general i think the arms are a, a bit too big you know they're like jacked and veiny i just don't associate that with mankind and cactus jack mick foley you know what i'm saying but i do think overall the set as a whole is a very sweet set i like the head sculpts i like the gears they went with the cloth goods you have in here this is such an upgrade from our elite 62 dude love as far as the shirt is concerned but he's a bit lean, right? He's a bit lean. His arms are a bit big. I do like the concept of the set, and I like some different things going on with it, but I think it could be better in certain areas. I just think it's a bit lean, and I don't really know what I'll do here. I don't know if I'll leave them the way they are or if I'll fix them up on surgery because there's certainly ways to make these better, I think, but we'll have to see about that, but I still think it's a fantastic set. I actually got to see Mick Foley's reaction in person when they presented this to him, and it, it, it like, shook him to his core. It, he, was, uh, he was all over 
him and he actually said it was one of the best days of his life whether he was joking or not it was still really uh really, i don't know it kind of touched me a little bit there so really cool set i like all three versions there I, again not perfect formulas by any stretch but still a really cool concept and i'm definitely going to be grabbing this one and we'll see about it we'll see about fixing it up we'll we'll play around with that but i definitely think he's too lean and the arms are too big now getting into the next set guys we're going to be diving into wwe elite series 105 now diving into elite 105 we got about four or five waves in a row here we got elite 105 106 107 108 and 109 not completely but we do have different figures from those sets which we'll dive into we have 105 johnny gargano now this is johnny gargano from elite 105 it, he does have johnny gargano syndrome we've dove into it i actually asked bill and steve about this as you guys will see in the interview there everything other than gargano syndrome looks really good here I like the entrance vest i feel like the head sculpt kind of looks like hero figs a little bit if i'm not tripping but he does have a he does have gargano syndrome unfortunately definitely something they can address in the future hopefully this will be the last time that we see gargano syndrome but we will have to see about that but the johnny gargano syndrome awareness movement has done wonders and hopefully this will be the last time that we see this when it comes to johnny gargano and any other figures i do like the figure overall i just think that obviously without johnny gargano syndrome this figure looks pretty good and I, i'm not the biggest fan of the head sculpt again it looks like hero figs to me but it's not a bad head sculpt at, at, by any stretch next up is scott steiner man this figure looks insane i think this looks so good i actually got to see him just chilling at san diego comic-con at a booth when this figure was revealed so it was really cool to see him just chilling there he even had the damn chainmail on he had it just sitting there signing autographs and i was like dude if i had the elite 105 right now i would absolutely go get it signed but these arms are crazy the torso's crazy. The very good formula here. I love this Scott Steiner figure. Looks so damn good. It's everything you want it to be. Red tights look good. This was a MVP of the weekend. I think this looks so damn good. And it softens the, you know, it puts a slight band-aid over the heartbreaking stab wound of the crowdfund Nitro Stage Ultimate Edition Scott Steiner that we will no longer be getting. Now, next up, we did have Carmelo Hayes. We had the red gear and the purple gear. Very cool. I love the entrance coat. Head sculpt's okay. It's not the best head sculpt of all time, but I do like the cut. I like the purple. I like the red. I like that we get two different versions there. That kind of tells me that we're we're probably not going to see another Carmelo Hayes for a while, but it's still very nice. I like everything going on here. Solid addition, first time in the line, and I feel like in these next few waves, they did a really good job of plugging in a lot of like newer, upcoming talent, which is cool. So Elite 105 Carmelo Hayes is really cool. I like the way this figure looks. We've seen this, right? But to see it fully in its almost ready to ship state is pretty cool. And then we also saw Braun Strowman. Very good looking figure here. I like the cloth goods. Very good Braun Strowman. Maybe his best figure ever. You have this, like, newly sculpted legs with the rips. Good beard sculpt. Really, like, just nailed the likeness. I think it looks just like him. So, pretty good Braun Strowman here. Then we had Elite 105 EO Sky. Very good as well. Women's Tag Team Championship. I don't know why Dakota Kai didn't come with a championship, but she'll fit in nice with your damage control. White, black, and gold gear looks good. The head sculpt looks good. Very nice. Very, very nice stuff going on here. I enjoy the EO Sky figure. Again, we've, we've kind of seen Elite 105 here, but seeing them all brought together is very nice. And then rounding out our Elite 105 is going to be Dom Mysterio, man. Dominic Mysterio looks so damn good, man. This figure looks incredible. And one thing that's so good about this figure is they fix the skin tone, man. They fix the skin tone. Listen to us. They went back to the drawing board. They said, you know what? How can we fix this figure? How can we address this? And they nailed it. This looks so much more accurate to Dom. I bet we'll see the same thing out of Eddie Guerrero, hopefully soon. I think this looks so damn good, man. This this almost won the weekend as well. This would definitely be my top 10 reveals. The Judgment Day shirt, the head sculpt. Very good Dominic, man. And you guys know that I used to hate Dominic Mysterio. And then like the way that he kind of corrected his character when he got in the Judgment Day has just been beautiful to see. And it's really like turned a leaf. It made me actually enjoy his work a whole lot more. Still don't think he's the greatest wrestler, but in terms of character work, man is on a mission right now. And this figure just looks so damn good. It really encapsulates that whole entire gimmick. Need to get him a daggum flannel and a bandana for his mouth and some sunglasses, and then we'll be killing it. But then we also got to see the packaging for the new Elite figures moving forward right behind Dom here. And I don't know how I feel about it. You guys can see. I guess this is like a way that they, I guess, kind of... This looks to me like the result of some sort of compromise between the collectors over at Mattel and the people just pushing pennies over there. They were like, you know what, Brad, we gotta have windowless packaging. And they were like, well, how can we like compromise with just a small window? And that's kind of what this looks like here. You guys can see it's like cut off from the knee below. And I don't know, I don't hate the packaging, but it just looks so... I don't know. I just, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't like it really, but I don't hate it. It's just kind of mid to me. It's interesting for sure. I don't like just hate it or despise it in any way, but it's definitely not my favorite. I like the new packaging that we've recently had, but changing over to this, I mean, I don't know, man. We'll see about it. 
It does look like the boxes are thinner and slimmer, which is cool, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the new packaging down in the comment section below. But Dominic was a definite W here at San Diego Comic-Con for reveals. Next up, we have WWE Elite Series 106. We're starting out with Roxanne Perez. Very good looking figure. Of course, we do have her render image, and then we had a prototype shown off. Very cool boots sculpted in there, which look great. NXT Championship's going to be smaller, more accurate to the women's version. Figure looks pretty dope. I like the gear and everything going on with it, but not a lot to say here until we see the full figure, but the prototype type does look good here. We also saw Paul Bearer with a new torso and legs, which is very cool. And he is the chase figure in Elite Series 106. Very cool. You get the black suit and then you get the navy blue suit. Something that I don't feel like we saw a ton of. You know, usually when you saw Paul Bearer, it was easily black suit, you know, dark colors, things of that nature. But here we're getting a brand new suit mold. It looks really interesting. I think it's going to stand out. Really badass here. I, I love all the different sculpts we're getting here. And he is the chase figure, like we said. So in Elite Series 106, we are getting a double suited. And you guys know I love suited figures and things of that nature. Yeah, two different urns here. He was displayed with the bigger version. But I like both of these. I think the head sculpt looks really good. And then moving on, we also had Chad Gable here who also had a prototype. And this looks really sick. I think this looks so good. His head sculpts look really good. I like the gear they chose here. Almost reminds me of like Static Shock or something like that. You have the gold slash yellow with black and white and blue. It looks really, really clean. And then you have his prototype there which also looks really good. So I'm looking forward to this Chad Gable. Having an updated. And then I think he is going to come with a shoe shirt. So that will be pretty cool to see for Chad. Chad Gable. And then we also got to see Elite Series 106 Sami Zayn, which I do believe is going to be his Elimination Chamber gear, which I feel like was yesterday, and his match with Roman Reigns. So that, I feel like that's so that's such quick turnover there, but who am I, you know? But the head sculpt looks good. It's a really nice Sami Zayn figure. It's kind of a repaint of his last few figures, but it is better than the Elite 102. So I can't believe they never did like a big four or five pack with a bloodline, all these packs, and we didn't get any bloodline packs. It's kind of crazy. But I guess since, like, by the time it would come out, like, they'd be long gone. I don't know, man. But a Survivor Series War Games 5-pack would have been really sick. I guess it's never too late, but with Bloodline packaging and stuff, I feel like it was you could easily write itself. But it's Sami Zayn there. And then diving into Elite 107, we got our Judgment Day Finn Balor. Now, this is a figure that I've been waiting on. You get the two entrance masks. He does have the Montez Ford legs, which we knew would happen, man. We knew it would happen. I'm interested to know if they're just going to take a Montez Ford figure and just repaint it to look like Finn Balor because you guys know Montez Ford uses the ricochet torso so are they just going to repaint that into you know Finn's skin tone there with the black sleeves I really like the gear it looks like he's going to have a purple towel he's got like purple on the insides there I just don't like this leg mold because there's no lower leg cut. And it looks like they're going to be using the same John Cena feet. I guess there's time to fix it, but I don't know, you know, where they are on the formula and things of that nature. But I can't stand the Montez Ford legs just because they have no lower leg rotation and that really bothers me. But I guess if they just give us the John Cena feet repainted, maybe we could do something on surgery. But he does have like some custom Jordans that he wears in the ring. And it would be cool to see that in figure form. Of course, they can't put the swoosh on there, but I guess you can leave that up to the decals and the customizers. Still badass. I wanted to see an Ultimate Edition non-demon, but I will tell I mean, we knew we were going to get a Judgment Day Finn. Here it is. Hopefully the head sculpt's good and all those different things. In render form, it looks really good, and I'm excited for the masks and stuff. We're going to fix him up, of course, but being a big Finn Balor guy, this is nice. Then we also saw Grayson Waller. We have two different versions here. You have the regular version and the chase. I don't know if the white and pink version or the black version is the chase and whatnot, but the white and pink version is sick as hell, and I'm not a Grayson Waller fan, but this figure still looks dope. You know, head sculpt looks okay. The white and pink gear is sick as hell, though. I can tell you that. I really like the, like, flames effects going on here, but we do have two different versions of Grayson Waller, but... This is what I was talking about. Elite 105, you have Carmelo Hayes. In Elite 106, you have Roxanne Perez. In Elite 107, you have Grayson Waller. You have Solo Sokoa. You have Cora Jade. So you have a lot of, like, new, fresh talent coming into the line, which I know is going to make a lot of people excited. We also had Otis to pair with our Chad Gable from Elite 106. Very cool figure. I mean, Otis has, what, three Elites figures, man? It's kind of wild to think about, but Otis bringing the heat, getting another figure here. I always enjoy his figures. They're really fun to pose around and stuff, and they pose around well for his size, so I always appreciate a good Otis figure, and you get two different head sculpts there, but it is going to look nice up next to our Chad Gable. We have our fixed Solo Sokoa figure, at least in the render image right here. He's got the better gear, updated torso, black towel, Samoan spy can, so it looks like they're going to listen to us here. They're going to, you know, fix it up and make it better. I guess that remains to be seen, of course, but until we get the figure in hand or we see a prototype, I guess we can't really address it, but hopefully 
this figure will, uh, will, you know, knock it out of the park and look really, really good. But on paper, it looks good. I know a lot of people were wanting a new Solo. It looks excellent, again, in render form, so we will have to wait and see. Playing the waiting game on this, but the Solo Sokoa figure is certainly better than his Elite 104. And a lot of people are saying they were upset. I mean, this figure is not going to be around till Christmas. So, I mean, you're, you got plenty of time to get your enjoyment out of your Elite 104. You could sell it down the line, pick this one up. So, you know, you, you can kind of wait around. I mean, this is Elite 107. We haven't even gotten Elite 105 in hand yet. Next up, we have a Shirtless Undertaker, which is very sweet. I think this is from the anniversary show, where he, like, talked to Bray Wyatt in his ear or whatever. But I love this because we get another shirtless... I've been, like, I waited for years on a shirtless Undertaker with the BSK Pride on the torso. And to finally get that and to be able to fix it up, you guys can also see he has a watch on his wrist. So, very sweet. I'm so glad they tooled that because this is going to be so sick. He also has the bandana under the hat. Very sick figure. I like this a lot. It's kind of a different take on Undertaker. You have the different, like, gloved hands. You know, it's a bit of a different take, but I think this one's going to do well. I, I look forward to this Undertaker figure. Maybe he'll come with cloth goods as well. And then we also had Cora Jade to round out the set. A really good looking figure as well. She's got like her barbed wire wrapped around. She's got her spiked hat. You got the kendo stick. Very sweet figure again. Again, it's hard to judge the renders, but I'm excited for the figure to see the different sculpts, see what we get. Even has the navel piercing in there, which I think we've seen a few times before, but uh, she's got tattoos and stuff. Very toyetic figure here, and uh, the studs on the hat look sick. This should be a great way to uh, round out our Elite 107 set. And then diving into Elite Series 108, we also have Omos. Now, Omos is a figure I didn't expect to see an Elite of that quick. You know, kind of a turnaround there. We saw him in Elite 97. I didn't think we really needed another Omos, but we do have him here. It looks like he's going to have his uh, his hoodie there that he's going to come with, like his entrance hoodie. Don't know if that'll be cloth goods or rubber. Hopefully it will be cloth goods, but we also have Omos here. And, you know, his first figure was really, really good, so hopefully this one will feel the same. It'll feel really quality in hand. The big figures, you know, they feel good in hand. They articulate well. His first figure was a beast. Hopefully this one will follow up the same. Even though I didn't think it was necessarily needed, we do have Omos coming back. And then we also have Terry Gordy, which is very interesting. Did not see this one at the slightest, but I know a lot of people are going to be happy because we're getting new names in the line, fresh faces around. You got the Executioner head sculpt in there. You get the Scythe. I mean, very cool stuff. I mean, you're going to require like some different things going on to use that Executioner head sculpt, but you know, I still think this is awesome. I, I popped hard. To see like new faces in the line, I always pop hard for. You know, I'm, I'm a guy that can appreciate a hundred different repeats paints. You know, I, that's right at my alley. Like, I appreciate multiple figures of the same guy. But when you can give us new, fresh faces that have not had a figure before, that always pops me as well. So this is very nice to see, and I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this one. We also have LA Knight here, and I don't think, yeah, he's not the chase, unfortunately, but this figure looks really good. I think we have some good stuff going on here. Hopefully, it'll be a good gear. The head sculpt looks good. I think the formula looks good. They did a really good job here, and uh, I mean, what do you say? It's probably going to be his red gear, if I had to guess. I think it'd be cool to see his pitch black match with Bray Wyatt. I was there, like, literally in the front row. He got thrown into my lap at the event, so that's why I'm excited about the Ultimate Edition, like, glow pitch black Bray Wyatt figure. But getting an LA Knight here, I would love to see, you know, this be that same gear, but I don't think it is. I guess we'll have to see about that, but really good LA Knight. I know a lot of people were waiting on it. We have the basic versions, and now we do have the Elite. I know everybody's going to be excited for that one. We do have to wait a little bit, but it is still a nice figure here to include in Elite Series 108. And then, rounding out Elite 108 so far that we know, we do have Chelsea Green, who is the Chase variant. You have, like, this purplish blue and black, and then you have this, like, ombre sunset pink and orange style gear, and both of them look really damn good. You know, the head sculpts look a bit off. I don't really know how you can judge it just yet. Um, it is just a render. Hopefully it captures the likeness because Chelsea Green has a very unique look. I think her basic did pretty good at capturing her likeness, but having her first elite here, hopefully it does check all the boxes and it looks good and everything comes together well. You know, it poses around nice and everything like that. But it is cool to get two new Chelsea Green figures. Probably makes the most sense to give her the chase just because, you know, I think her figure is going to sell well, especially among wrestling figure collectors. So we will see about that. But I was excited to uh, see a Chelsea Green elite. Now we get two different versions there. So that's awesome. And then we're moving on to Elite 109. We finally have an updated Bailey figure. We have not seen a Bailey figure in so damn long, man, but we're finally getting a Bailey. I think what her like Elite 80 or Elite I think it was Elite 80 Bailey. And then we saw the Survivor Series Elite Bailey, and since then we have not seen another Bailey. And then we had Elite 104 Dakota Kai, Elite 105 EO Sky, and then Elite 109 having Bailey in it. That's a big gap for damage control and Bailey. So, you know, finally getting a Bailey figure here. Hopefully it will check all the boxes and it'll be a really good likeness and stuff like that. Hopefully it's a good gear, you know, hopefully, you know, the likeness is good and everything like that. I feel like this figure is probably going to be a bit outdated once we get it, but I mean, I know figures are never really truly up to date because it takes a year to make, but hopefully this figure is not like super, super outdated by the time we get there. We also have Damien Priest here, which looks sick as hell. 
Looking like the damn Ministry of Darkness over here. You can't tell me this does look like a young Undertaker or something like that, man. That's kind of what this reminds me of, but I can't tell, but isn't this his match with Bad Bunny? Am I tripping? I think this is his match with Bad Bunny, if I'm not mistaken. It's like the white, and it's like the Puerto Rican gear, I think. Got like the Puerto Rican flags and stuff on it, so hopefully we'll get a Bad Bunny from that same set. I know there was like rumors or like a listing of something of a Bad Bunny figure, so hopefully... If we do get a Bad Bunny, it'll be from the same matchup, and we can recreate that here in figure form. But this figure looks dope. Damian Priest is pretty toyetic, I think. You know, all his figures have been bombed, so hopefully this will fit in right there, and hopefully they capture the gear nicely and everything. You got the entrance duster and all that. Not a big Damian Priest guy, but I can appreciate a good action figure football. And then last but not least in Elite Series 109, we do have... Seth freaking Rollins with the new championship. Now, this title looks so weird in render, render form. It looks way too small. It looks, like, way too skinny. Hopefully, they'll go back to the drawing board and make sure this is accurate. But head sculpt looks really good with the thick beard and the long hair. You guys know I love a good Seth Rollins. They gave him the bigger arms here in this render, but I'm not going to freak out. I mean, this is Elite 109. We're so far removed from this. I don't know why they would just give him random big arms just all of a sudden. Give him Dolph Ziggler size Elite 24 arms, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to freak out here, but he does have the entrance hands and different things like that. It'll probably be his like cheetah print and blue gear if I had to guess, but we will have to see about that, see exactly what it is. But he is going to come with championship, which is nice. I just hope they fix those things. And again, it's a really early render, so I'm not going to freak out, but it is cool to know that we have Seth Rollins coming in Elite Series 109. Next up, we do have the top picks figures and we're diving into another Seth Rollins. We have the Dusty Rhodes Hell in a Cell Troll attire from Seth Rollins here to pair with our torn pack defining moments Cody and this looks so good I think that this looks better in figure form than it did in real life as a real life gear I think this looks so damn good I love that we have these white kick pads here hopefully this figure is easy to obtain I'll probably buy multiples of these just for the white kick pads but Seth Rollins looking good here they use the screaming head sculpt from the ultimate this is a very sweet figure again kind of a repaint of you know other figures but still really damn good and really really well executed and then also in this top pick set we're seeing Elite 95 Cena and Elite 103 Roman Reigns as the top pick so we're kind of seeing some re-released figures paired with brand new figures similar to what we saw with Rey Mysterio and Matt Riddle with Cody Rhodes in the past top pick set they're doing that again moving forward here with this set and I don't hate it you know I would like to see more figures like different paints you know just to move it along and get better gears because you could have easily done a different Cena gear here you know, slightly redecoed Roman Reigns or something but you know we'll live with it we'll take it for now but the Seth Rollins figure is still very sick I'm excited for it and then we also have the SummerSlam build a figure John Cone Elite now this is a figure that I was really excited for because you know, a long time, we have been waiting on a referee elite. We have been begging Mattel to do so, and they finally did it here with John Cone. It's really awesome because John Cone's an actual action figure collector. He he collects, like, every referee figure ever made, I think. He's got a really lucrative collection. And I actually got to meet him and his son, Nicholas, at San Diego Comic-Con. So that was really awesome as well. Got to take a photo with him and everything. So this figure looks sweet. I'm very excited for it. I don't think they announced any of the SummerSlam Elite set just yet. You know, who's going to be in that set. But it is still really sweet. I think this is, like, 2020. So it's going to be a little bit here. We have to wait a while until that SummerSlam set gets here. But nonetheless, it's still very, very cool. And I look forward to seeing who's in that set and, you know, what holes they plug in our collections with that wave. But John Cone getting an Elite is sick as hell. We finally have one. And it wouldn't be the only referee figure we saw, but this is a really awesome one. You get all the different hands. This is going to become the standard for people's photography, I'm sure, moving forward when it comes to WWE action figures. Next up, we saw Legends Series 21. Now, this is a really cool set. We had not seen these previously, but this uh, Jimmy Hart here with the Hulk Hogan airbrush design on the back with a WCW is so damn cool. This is so sweet. I would love a full line of just Jimmy Hart's with airbrushed suits, man, because this looks so good with the stars and the flames and you have the Hulk Hogan and all these different things, man. This is a very sweet Jimmy Hart figure. I, I wish we'd get more of these, you know. I think that these look so damn good. So anytime they can plug in a Jimmy Hart figure in an airbrush suit, plug it in there, man, because I think these look really awesome. Next up, we also had Hulk Hogan here. Now, very throwback Hulk Hogan here. You even have the damn entrance cape. I mean, this is so cool. I know a lot of people are probably going to, like, torso swap it and make an all-white Hogan. You know, like American-made Hogan. Pair it with your Freddy Blassie. I mean, there's some different things you can do here, but I do believe this is a new singlet mold we're getting on this figure here, and I do believe this is going to hit not too far in the future, so I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this, but the cloth goods on here look insane. Another Hogan, you know, I, I don't know how many people are going to be lining up to buy this one, but yeah, it's out there, man, so you got to go grab it, but 
I, I, I can enjoy different iterations of different characters, so it doesn't completely bother me, but 13 Hogan's revealed to us is a bit much. Next up, we did have Andre the Giant. Now, this is very cool as well, getting all these Andre the Giants. Now, with the addition of these two Andres, man, he actually has quite a bit of figures if you actually think about it, but we have a WrestleMania 2 Andre the Giant. You have the yellow, and then you have the red. I think the yellow is the regular version, and then the red is the chase version, so we get two different Andres here. Really good formula, and he looks really damn good here, man. I think they did a really good job on these. I mean, basic repaints, you know, if you want a different Andre, here it is. WrestleMania 2 shirt fits the figure well as well. And we haven't seen the yellow trunks Andre in a very long time, so I know a lot of people are going to be hyped for that. And you get the yellow boots in there. So you get some red boots, red tights, yellow boots, yellow tights. Very cool. And then rounding out Legends 21, we do have the Iron Sheik. Rest in peace to the legend. This figure looks badass. Maybe the best Iron Sheik we've seen. I love these tights. I love the entrance gear. You could put this entrance gear with Seth Rollins or something like that as well. Very badass, man. I love this Iron Sheik. Head sculpt looks phenomenal. I do believe this is a repeat head sculpt, but I love the Iron Sheik boots. Just a phenomenal figure. I'm looking forward to this Iron Sheik a lot. Maybe the best figure in the set. And then moving on to Legend Series 22, we have two more Hogans, and it is like his New Japan run here in the black and gray, and then he does have like the black, red, and like grayish blue boots. Very unique look to him. He's got the sunglasses in there. I mean, dude, they have covered every freaking like possible look of Hulk Hogan. I know we still haven't covered them all, but we've covered a lot, man. I don't feel like there's a lot of meat on the bone for this chase, but it is just repaints, but with the trunk staying the same color, it is a bit of a reach here. And then we do have Captain Lou here. Very sweet. I know a lot of people were hoping we'd get an elite of him since we did see him in the Superstars line, and maybe you could pair those cloth goods with this elite we will have to see but it's still badass very very unique and interesting i'm looking forward to this figure a whole lot lots of craziness coming in 2023 man captain lou coming in hot and then we have the sultan which is insanity lots of crazy stuff going on with this figure man you're getting lots of new molds and things like that i know a lot of people popped hard for this one again first time in the line people coming in here fitting into the collections lots of new molds here don't know how the hell you're going to get reused out of some of this stuff but there it is man there it is in all its glory so we will have to see but the render images of all these look really good and we don't know the last figure of Legends 22, so that also remains to be seen. We'll have to wait, but I popped hard for, I guess when you have Captain Lou and the Sultan in these sets, you know, they had to kind of scale it back for Hulk Hogan. Then next up, we do have the Monday Night Wars Elite set, the Walmart exclusive series number one. Now, we did see these back at the WrestleMania Superstore. We do have Stone Cold up first. Very good figure. You know, I, I look forward to this one a lot, just because it's kind of a redo of the Defining Moments Austin, which is one of my favorite elites of all time. So, having an updated version here, I don't know how you can't be excited about that, and I, I'll probably be, uh, every time I see this, buy it with all the different accessories you get here with the hat and the, the shirt and the jacket and everything like that. So this is going to be beautiful. We also have Hogan from this set as well. Very cool stuff going on here. Blacked out Hogan. Got the cowboy boots in there. Very dope. I really wish we could get a damn new weight belt sculpt in there. The day they do that, it's going to go viral. People are going to be blowing up. But we already knew about this Hogan. You know, it looks good here. New head sculpt. Everything going on with this Hogan. Hopefully these start to hit pretty soon. I mean, they're, they can't be that far removed. We also got to see a shot of the packaging of these figures as well. You got to see Scott Hall and the Undertaker figure. So I'd imagine these are probably going to hit within the next month or so, man. I mean, the, these got to be close to hitting. These look awesome. I like actually like the, the packaging on these figures as well and it looks a lot better than the elite 105 i guess because you have like some different stuff going on there but we also had undertaker who also looks good i look forward to this undertaker figure and then we do have the build a figure lex luger with the white shirt which looks awesome here in the entrance way not a great shot of it but it still looks fine and then we also got to see undertaker and scott hall from the set loose and this looks really good i actually got to hold the scott hall figure in my hand because it fell over in the display and they were resetting it back up and i said can i hold that so i got to actually hold this in hand and it felt good and everything like that it looks amazing I can't believe they actually changed it to the tucked in boots. So that was a really nice deal there by Mattel and everything. And I think they said they're trying to get some dry brush detail in there as well. So we will see about that. But this is a sweet figure and it represents a really good moment. And then we got to see series number two, which is very excellent, man. We got to see series two featuring filthy animals, Rey Mysterio, maskless with the devil horns. I mean, my God, who would have thought we would see this? He also comes with the cloth goods overalls. What an just amazing figure here, man. I don't think we've seen a maskless Rey Mysterio in like 20 years years. It's been since like what Toy Biz since the last time we saw this. So seeing this figure is insanity. I can't wait to see what it looks like in final production, but the prototype looks good here. You do have the devil horns in there. I can already see people like shaving off the devil horns and then having just a regular unmasked ray. Definitely gonna be a thing that happens, but this figure really popped me. I love the overalls, the yellow. Everything looks really damn good here with this Rey Mysterio. And then the rest of the figures in the set we have look at the adjective.
relative. Kevin Nash here with his collared shirt. He's got the removable hat and hair sculpt, and then he does have the removable watch, which looks so sick, man. What a damn good figure. This actually popped me really hard. Uh, you got the, like, removable hair piece, so you can remove the hair with the hat or just put the hair sculpt on there. So you get a bunch of different stuff going on. You get the mic, you get the black shirt. A lot of stuff going on with these figures, man. They just look awesome. Not to mention the removable watch. I mean, there, there's so many damn good things going on right here. Maybe the best Kevin Nash figure ever. I know people will fight me on that, but damn, this looks good. And then we also got to see fake Diesel now. You know, say what you will, very interesting selection there. Pretty comical. I can appreciate things like this in the line, but we do have fake Diesel here. Very interesting. I think the likeness is really nice to Glenn Jacobs and everything. You got the Diesel power in there. Definitely a moment in time here, but I think, I mean, hopefully this thing doesn't shuffle form hard. And I wonder if it'll actually say fake Diesel on the packaging, or will it say Glenn Jacobs as Diesel? Like, how are they going to do it? I'm interested to know that as well. But then rounding out the set, we do kind of just have a repaint here with Triple H in the red gear. So many different gears of Triple H in, the, in this in these tights forms that I said, I wonder if we'll ever get that gear. And they found a way to just repaint him in these tights. So it is cool to see them actually get to do that. I think this is like our fourth or fifth long tights Triple H figures. Actually, it may be more than that, actually, when you include the SummerSlam or the Elite 86 figure in the chase. So they've done a really good job of getting long tights Triple H figures in there and just kind of finessing them in there. So having another one here. But rounding out this set is going to be a Build-A-Figure Teddy Long figure, which is so cool. So we do get throwback Teddy Long in the referee gear here, man. Great looking head sculpt, and now we get two different referees, man. So freaking sick to see Teddy Long here. I'd love to see them redo a general manager Teddy Long build a figure. I guess they should have done that in the Ruthless Aggression era lines, but it looks like they're going to be keeping like a, you know, uh, Monday Night War set idea going for the future, but maybe I'm thinking maybe a Vince McMahon or Shane McMahon build a figure out of the Monday Night Wars Elite sets would be really damn good, so we'll have to see about that, but this Teddy Long popped me hard. It looks amazing. Can't wait to actually get this one in hand. And then we also saw the WrestleMania 40 Elite set featuring Trish, Rock, Cena, Pat McAfee, and the Build-A-Figure Nicholas, which is just absolutely insane. Now, one thing that is interesting is you guys will notice on the John Cena, they're using like the newer lower with, the, uh, with like the older Cena upper. And I think the reason they're doing this is because you guys know that before this, we have not seen a short Cena like this, like this shorts mold with a double jointed arm Cena. And I think those shoulders and arms are only compatible with this torso so far. So I think that's why this torso came on this lower. But it's not my favorite figure. You know, the head sculpt's not bad and everything like that. I just really wish he had his shirt with him. It would really complete the figure. I just think it's really plain Jane. And then you have the rock here. And the head sculpt looks pretty good. I think it fits a modern rock. I like that they went with the bigger torso. You have the WWE Championship. I'm pretty sure these tights are not accurate, though. I think he's supposed to have the rock on him in silver, not the Brahma Bull. So I think this is actually like his Survivor Series gear or something like that on here instead of his WrestleMania gear, but you know what? I, I mean, I guess it's not the biggest deal ever, but it is, I do believe it's inaccurate, but it is a really nice modern rock. Like, if you're going to represent a modern rock, this is a great figure to represent that. We have our first time ever Elite Pat McAfee, which is awesome. Been really looking forward to getting a, an Elite of him. I know we got the basic, but an Elite is really where we like it, right? You get the cloth goods, the necklace, the black pants. I do believe he wore, like, Jordan 11 lows or something like that, or some sort of Jordans here, so the shoes aren't accurate, but what are you going to do, Brad? Maybe we can find a better shoe mold for him, but I love Pat McAfee. I like this figure. And then the Trish Stratus figure here is very interesting because it's actually just a redo of her Hall of Fame Elite from years and years ago. It's like the exact same figure, just with double jointed arms, and so I know a lot of people are, I, I don't know, you guys can let me know. I think this is a new like leg mold on here, but everything else is virtually the exact same from her Hall of Fame Elite, so I guess the women's figures collectors down below can let me know what you guys think about that one. And then we have the Build-A-Figure Nicholas, which is very insane. Again, I did get to meet Nicholas, which was really cool. It's crazy because he's like taller than me now, so it's kind of insane that he went from winning a tag title and now he's bigger than me in the blink of an eye. But he comes with cloth goods. you got the black shorts or pants there. I mean, it's a Build-A-Figure Dominic pretty much, but it is, you know, it's a new figure, so we'll, we'll see about that. Can't wait to review this set, get it in there. Saw a lot of people crapping on this set as a whole. You guys can let me know what you think about that. I mean, it's kind of plain Jane of a set, not like anything immaculate over over the top, so we will see how this one goes, but moving it right along, we do have the Greatest Hits Legends figures featuring Warrior, Bruno San Martino, Honka Tonk, Honka Tonk, what the hell are you saying, Brad? Honky Tonk, man. Terry Funk and British Bulldog. Very cool in here, you know, we get like all these figures updated, which is really cool, and a lot of people are going to be hyped about it. I think that the uh, Honky Tonk looks really good, you know, anytime you can update a figure with double jointed arms and everything like that is a, is a plus. I think this is supposed to be what the Retro Fest GameStop Honky Tonk. I felt like I just got that figure yesterday. We have the Flashback Ultimate Warrior, sold that one a while back, so getting the updated one here will be really nice, and I don't really care for the 
this purple. I felt like the purple in the championship is a little bit inaccurate. I just don't see the actual feel here. It just looks a bit translucent or something. It just is throwing me off a little bit, a little bit too light for me. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we also have Terry Funk here again. Pretty plain Jane. They actually added knee pads here. I don't think he had knee pads on the first go around. And they did throw in the, like, modern ECW title there. And he's got the double jointed arms again. Pretty solid figure. I always liked that figure when it first released. I remember buying that from Toys R Us yesterday. And now, here we are again, man. So, time just flies by. But then we also have British Bulldog here. Another figure that's awesome. You get the Heart Foundation vest. Very badass figure. This is a figure that I know a lot of people are going to be wanting because... A lot of these figures that we're seeing in these sets are figures that a lot of people missed out on and they've been waiting for. So this is definitely going to be one of the most sought after, I think, in the set. And then rounding out our set, we get the Podium Hall of Fame Bruno San Martino, which is slightly repainted, which is cool. But uh, getting the update here for Bruno, we saw him way back in Elite 25. So seeing a new Bruno here is really excellent. You still get the same accessories and stuff. And again, people that missed out on that, I'm, I'm buying this again just for the Podium. I, like, it may be no Bruno left behind just to get like a shish ton of Podiums. You can run a whole damn debate here in the MDT office. But I like that full set. You know, it's interesting. I'm interested to see where we go from here, you know. Interested to see who else comes here. But next up, we do have the Greatest Hits Elites. We've kind of touched on these already, so I don't want to spend a huge amount of time on them. But I love the canceled Bray Wyatt Elite getting the updated treatment here. You have the brown khaki pants here, which looks sweet with the boots. Very excited for that Bray Wyatt. We have R-Truth here, which is very interesting. Didn't expect to see him here. We have Seth Rollins in the shield gear. I already explained my thoughts here. Didn't really care for that figure too much. Just don't understand why we would get that one specifically. And hopefully, with them putting this here, hopefully that means that the Ultimate Edition is not the shield Seth Rollins there. But, I mean, they even went back and they doubled down on that older skin tone from the figure. It's literally the exact same figure with no real, like, additions or anything besides double-jointed arms and true effects. We have John Nada, very cool figure. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to buy this one again simply because it has double-jointed arms, and I really like the dry brushing on the pants. I do believe the pants are the exact same as the past version, but, I mean, if I bought multiples of the first version for different customs and stuff, I feel like i got to do it again for this one because it got updated double-jointed arms. So that's always the, you know, the pick your poison type game you play when you are messing around with you know collecting and stuff but rounding out the set we do have typhoon and earthquake and then we also have brutus the barber beefcake and the scorpion king rock and all these figures are solid you know i don't uh a lot of these figures are ones that i sold off back in the day to kind of kickstart you know uh the channel and stuff like that so it's kind of wild to see these get re-released and be figures that I got rid of way long ago. But uh, I think we have some solid additions here. I definitely want the Scorpion King Rock. Never had an opportunity to own that one, and that was one that I definitely wanted. So that will be really cool, all the different sculpts and stuff. But it's weird because we see eight figures in this set, which I thought was absolutely wild. But I think we're coming up on our last few sets here, and we do have the Royal Rumble Elites with the Beth Phoenix figure. Really cool. I think the head sculpt's good. She's got her duster. Nothing immaculate or anything. I saw a lot of people crapping on this set. You guys can let me know what you think of it down below. But we do have Beth Phoenix here. Solid looking head sculpt. We have Ridge Holland. Very cool entrance coat. Uh, we, we saw these back at WrestleMania, right? But it was just the, the digital, or not the digital renders, but we got to see the actual prototypes, like the grayed out prototypes, the like, different parts and stuff like that before they're actually made. And, um, you know, my thoughts pretty much remain the same. I think that Rich Holland's probably a bit too ripped up, but he looks okay. We also have Brock Lesnar here with his new head sculpt. Pretty much the Elite 96 figure. Nothing too crazy or over the top with it. Very, it looks kind of like a sleepy head sculpt, like he had just woken up or something like that. But there's Brock Lesnar. And then we do have the Royal Rumble Batista from his win at the Royal Rumble, which is a cool defining moment to get. And it is cool to see this plugged in here. So I'm, I'm, I'm a pop for any Batista figure that they give us. I always love collecting Batista figures, stuff like that. So I, I popped hard for this Batista. Even though we already knew it was coming, I still like to see it, you know, brought to full life. Looks like a really good custom that we'd see back in the day. But we're finally starting to see these figures come to life, so that's really good. And then the Build-A-Figure from the set is Indiana Hoosiers Virgil. And I call it that because it's the Indiana Hoosiers attire. I mean, look at this right here. Look at this man right here. It looks really good. I, I like everything going on with this Virgil figure. Solid-looking head sculpt. I think it completes it. Very toyetic and all those different things, so that's good. Looking forward to the Virgil a lot. I haven't seen him in the line in a very long time. And then the last few figures that we have today, man, is the Survivor Series Elite figures. I think I got all of them, but we will see. We have the Charlotte figure in the all-black. Solid head sculpt. She has the women's championship. You know, it's just a, you know, you get the unique sculpts here for the, for the Charlotte figure. Women's figures do a good job on 
different like one of one sculpts which are nice to see and she does have the ultimate edition boots we have Jerry Lawler with a great head sculpt he's got like the black jacket you know it is a black rubber jacket but at least he gets the crown and we'll see what comes of that when we get it in hand but I think it, dude how sick would it be to see a cloth goods you know like jacket or entrance coat like that would be crazy but Jerry Lawler looking good as well we have Kevin Owens still waiting on the day that we get like fully non velcro Kevin Owens front and back shirts over like a chunkier torso would be really cool to see but I still appreciate Kevin Owens figures and I'm glad we're going back and getting this red attire because I always like this red attire and the head sculpt looks good it's pretty much a repaint of the Elite 91 and I think this is a serviceable figure I like Kevin Owens you guys know I'm a massive Kevin Owens guy so any Kevin Owens figure will definitely suffice for me but the head sculpt looks good all this different stuff I mean again we're looking at repaints here but it looks really good and then we also have Shawn Michaels to round out the set which is in black tights this is black tights right here on display but they did explain that we I asked them that in the interview which you guys will see and um, it is something that they're looking to change, so we will see about that. But they did pretty much what I expected them to do with this figure. I didn't expect them to change the lower legs. I think that if you change the lower legs to like Christian lower legs or something of that nature, you could change it and then plug these boots in and it would look a lot better and natural, which we will have to see at a later date. Get the figure in hand, but I think they are going to try and fix the color, but we will see about that. He does have the cowboy. Boy. It's a great figure. I mean, people have been waiting on this Shawn Michaels for a while. We'll have to see when it comes to fruition, but having a double jointed Survivor Series Shawn Michaels figure is excellent. Can't wait to have this one in hand, but of course we want the, the corrected, we got to have the corrected attire and the color, right? So there's that. And then last but not least, we have the Build-A-Figure British Bulldog from this Survivor Series set, which looks sweet. I think this is excellent. It's very cool to see non-suited Build-A-Figures finally in WWE Elite. I, I guess I just kind of wish that it was bigger characters, but I guess you can't really do that because it's not like Marvel where there's so many different big characters you can make. I mean, you'd be really limited if you were only doing big figures for Build-A-Figures. And if anything... Mattel works backwards. We get kid figures. Nonetheless, I am looking forward to more Build-A-Figures, and I'm really excited to see where the Monday Night War set. Since every Build-A-Figure in the Monday Night War set is going to be centered around the Monday Night Wars, I think a Vince McMahon or a Shane McMahon would be absolutely ideal for that. So we will have to see about that, but that is pretty much going to wrap up all the WWE Elites that we have seen over the Comic-Con week, man. I think that's every single WWE Elite. I call myself reviewing every single one or talking about every single one. Did my best there, but I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all the different WWE Elites down in the comment section below. What your favorite reveals were, what you thought sucked. I mean, they unveiled a lot, man. It was a whole lot, and it usually is, but I'm all here for it. Of course, all these figures will be releasing. We'll be covering them here on the channel, doing full reviews, and checking out all of the different stuff, man, but that is going to pretty much wrap up this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on all this down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. I am feeling a whole lot better today than I did the last couple of days, so that's good. I feel I have a lot more energy and stuff like that after sitting here for an hour talking now. I have been coughing a little bit, but I feel pretty good, man. I'm, I'm feeling it, so we will see about that, but if you guys are interested in becoming patron members, click the link in the description below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never back down. We will not relate.